How is it going guys and welcome back to another Fallout 4 video and today we're going to be taking a look at a hidden unmarked quest in Far Harbor known as Shipbreaker. Now the story behind Shipbreaker is that there's an old powerful fog crawler that terrorizes the island known as Shipbreaker himself. This is a legendary uniquely named fog crawler and if you're lucky enough or unlucky you may just run into this creature when venturing the swamps. If you manage to track down Shipbreaker, kill him and then report back to Old Longfellow, he'll then give you the unique weapon known as Skipper's Last Stand. Now the reason why I'm making this video for you guys today is because I haven't seen barely anyone make a video on this. I had this once again uh, suggested from one of you guys in the comment section on my previous video and I did a little bit more research into this, find a few articles and stuff on how this works and I managed to get it done myself to bring you guys this tutorial here today. Now the quest itself can be pretty damn hard to obtain and that is because it's not tied to any specific location. In fact, it's completely random in your game and it starts with the shipbreaker radio signal that you'll need to find. Now again, this isn't tied to any specific location. This is where I found the signal, but again, it's completely random in your game. It will probably be in a completely different location. So all you really need to do is just walk around Far Harbor until you find it, you know, fast travel to different locations, see if it's in that location, and uh, hopefully you can pick it up. Again, this can be a very dubious task because it can be quite annoying uh, to try and find this, but unfortunately, this is the only way you're going to get it. Now even with that, it still may not pop up in your game, apparently you do have to have at least have completed uh, the Turn Back the Fog quest, but that's still unsure of at this moment in time. Uh, but apparently it's just in the second half of the Far Harbor DLC quest line, just complete a bunch of quests, uh, as long as you're past Turn Back the Fog, then this should be available to you. Now another way to actually track him down is there's also a chance that one of your settlers on the island, like at Echo Lake Lumba or Dalton Farm, will also tell you about the creature. That is also a chance and that is also how you can actually start tracking the creature himself uh, through that. But anyway, getting back into the video, once you've picked up the radio signal, keep heading in the direction of where the signal is going until it gets stronger and stronger until eventually it reaches 100%. Once it's reached 100% lo and behold, you have now found the great beast, Shipbreaker himself. Now it's also worth mentioning that Shipbreaker is usually at a minimum level of 75 and will scale fairly high as well no matter what level you are, so be prepared for a pretty damn tough fight when going into this. I mean he is a legendary fog crawler of course that is uniquely named, he's very fast, can deal a lot of damage up close, so it's just you know good to be prepared uh, for the fight that you're going into. Once you've finally taken down the great beast that Shipbreaker is himself of course you can go ahead and loot the legendary item that he does hold and that is completely randomized for you once you've done that you'll now actually be given the quest shipbreaker in which you then simply have to go ahead and report to old longfellow upon speaking to old longfellow he'll pretty much talk to you about how even though he's happy that shipbreaker is dead he'll kind of miss her because pretty much shipbreaker had him on his toes for the 10 years that old longfellow was trying to track the beast down to worry about Funny thing is, happy as I am that she's gone, I think I'm gonna miss her in a way. Walking in the fog will be a bit less interesting now, but I don't have to wonder if she might be lurking behind the next rock. Kept me on my toes, she did. For that, I'm grateful, in spite of the sorrow she visited on the island. Here, you may as well have my trusty old harpoon gun saving it for delivering the killing blow to Shipbreaker, but now you should have it. As a reward for taking out Shipbreaker, he'll then give you Skipper's Last Stand, a unique harpoon gun that gives you 150% damage resistance when reloading, which, to be honest, is not a bad legendary prefix to have on the harpoon gun. In fact, it's probably the best weapon to have this legendary prefix on because of the ridiculously long loading time that a harpoon gun has. And hey, I mean, even if the weapon isn't for you, it's definitely one worth picking up. It's definitely fun to just participate in the quest itself. And again, it's definitely one to add to that collection of yours. And that, my friends, is the story of Shipbreaker and the unmarked quest and weapon that you get for completing and fighting the beast itself. As always, hope you did enjoy this video today. If you did, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below, guys. Your support, of course, is always greatly appreciated on the channel. As always, subscribe if you are new around for videos similar to this, and I'll catch you guys next time with a brand new video. Peace out.